My name is Alex Burns. I have autism and Tourette's syndrome. And I have been a proud Special Olympics athlete for the past seven years. For those of us with developmental and intellectual disabilities, Special Olympics has changed our lives. I know that's a rather trite thing to say, but imagine for just a moment that it's true. That an organization single-handedly changed the state of play for an entire population of individuals who had never experienced the sweet taste of winning and the bruising lessons of defeat. Season in, season out. You make that happen. We thank you. While I only have a vague recollection of my first night as a Special Olympics athlete, my mom tells the story often. I was 12 years old. I had no idea how to play basketball. And I trot across the court heading in the complete wrong direction. And Coach Dan Dillon meets my mother halfway and says, Alex is doing fine. We'll take it from here. Probably not a highly memorable conversation to most, but that was a game changer for my family. You are here because you have already sacrificed. You're already on our team. Please know that every time we athletes put on a jersey or lace up our shoes, we are reminded of your work and your sacrifice. We thank you. Of course, that's not why you do this. It's not why you spend practice working tirelessly to engage us and develop our athletic skills and get to know what we did last weekend or how our job is going or how the local play went and can you come see it. Because the title of coach or volunteer doesn't tell the full story. It's just the first chapter. You are a trusted mentor, friend, and even at times counselor. You are there for us in the most trivial of moments and in the most extraordinary of times. As coaches and volunteers, you are part of the greater story, the human story that defines Special Olympics as an organization that impacts beyond the field and court. At the same time, as we're growing as athletes, this whole different transformation is happening. We're growing as people. We gain confidence. We break away from the protective eyes of our parents and look towards coaches and volunteers for guidance. not judged by how we look or how we act or by a label society uses to define us, we are free. We develop a sense of each other and a greater sense of ourselves. Everyone here is part of that transformation. We thank you. Opportunities may not come as often or as easy for us, but we have goals and dreams and expectations just like everyone else. And that will look different for each of us, not just because we have diverse challenges, but because each one of us is a uniquely distinct individual. You see that, you see us. We thank you. We can only imagine that some days are tougher than others, but it's the struggle that binds us. It's the grind that brings the personal growth, the absolute catharsis we feel after the confidence of a first basket or the beauty of a breakaway. It's the tiniest fraction of a moment when a furrowed brow becomes a lopsided grin. What you have done for us, who you are to us, can never be captured in a speech. Yes, you are coaches and volunteers and mentors and counselors and friends. But serving as a role model to us, 
to our families, to our community, reminds us daily that there is much goodness in the world. And for that, more than anything, we thank you.